Well, planes have been modeled after birds, but you won't see many flying at the same altitude. The bar headed goose, though, is an exception, and there's only one place in western New York that you can see them. Terry Belke takes us to the outdoors. Birds are amazing, intelligent, beautiful, and superbly adaptive. They're related to dinosaurs and are one of the oldest species on Earth. They're part of our art and our folklore. One of the most impressive species are bar headed geese. Native to India, they are the world's highest flying bird. They fly 30 to 35,000 feet, which is higher than most airplanes. That's high. <laughs> flying at such an altitude is a monumental task. To accomplish this, they've evolved a remarkable physical adaptation. Oxygen levels at that height are less than 10% of that found at sea level. They have two air sacs in front of the lungs. Before they breathe the air into the lungs, it goes into these small air sacs that warms the air and then it'll go into the lungs. Otherwise their lungs would freeze up because at that altitude the air is thinner and also it's colder. So they, they, they die, they couldn't do it. Barheads also have tremendously strong wings. That helps them at those great heights as they ride air currents that speed them along at up to 100 miles an hour. So why do they fly where no others dare to soar? The reason is as old as creation. Because they nest in the Himalaya mountains and they have to go over the Himalayas to nest there, and they nest right in the snow. They're the first birds that we have here that nest. The only place in western New York to experience these masters of the air is Gooseneck Hill Waterfall Sanctuary in Delavan. Founder Rosemary Miner has been caring for these birds and hundreds of other ducks and geese for decades. The majority of their birds are either threatened or endangered. Since 1983, we started raising birds. And at first, we only had 12 birds, and now we have 700 and some, and with the 80 in my incubator. Incubating those eggs is a challenge all its own. Well, you have to uh, candle them, and you have to make sure you don't have any rotten ones in the incubator, or else it'll uh, kill all the other eggs. Oh, yeah. And um, you have to make sure it's a 99.5, uh, and humidity is about 50% and you have to make sure it doesn't drop or change temperature or humidity. And then you have to check the eggs all the time. Gooseneck Hill is the world's largest covered aviary and a unique regional jewel, but the cost of preserving so many threatened species is steep and they can't do it without the community's assistance. Fortunately, a chance to do that is just around the corner. The sanctuary's annual fundraiser, Taste of the South Towns, happens Sunday, April 28th at St. Aloysius Hall in Springville. To find out more, we'll provide a link to their website on the To the Outdoors webpage at WGRZ.com. Reporting from Delavan, New York, taking you to the outdoors, I'm Terry Belke.